over half his games and has just one playoff win. Garrett has been on and off the hot seat for years, but a new book explains that Jerry Jones is committed to having a head coach whose voice doesn't rival his own. The book goes on to say Jones likes Garrett and is against starting over with a new coach. Shannon, mm -hmm. interesting. What do you make of this? I don't believe the author of this book is, is fully telling the truth because I don't believe Jerry Jones is adverse to change. Mm. I believe Jerry Jones is adverse to giving up power. We've seen Jerry Jones skip. You know, the NFL has an exclusive deal with Ticketmaster. Guess who pulled out of that deal and did it their own way? Jerry Jones. Revenue sharing. Who pulled out of that revenue sharing and did things their own way? Mm. So in other words, he was not adverse to change as long as Jerry controlled the situation. Mm -hmm. Remember, he signed that exclusive deal with Pepsi? Yeah. He ended up suing the NFL, didn't he, he Skip did. Bayless? Yeah. You remember that? Because you was in Dallas at that mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. So he's not adverse to change. He's adverse to giving up power. See, he would rather have Jason Garrett than Sean McVay mm -hmm. because Sean McVay is going to want some say over the final 53. Sean McVay is going to want to have some tr control over the draft. Jason Garrett's just going to sit back and clap. Jerry's going to do his own thing. Think about this, Skip Bayless. Sunday was Mr. Kraft's 300th win. Mr. Kraft didn't say anything to Coach Belichick address the team. And Coach Belichick handed the ball over to Mr. Kraft, then Mr. Kraft addressed it. That's how it normally works. Mr. Boland, who's the owner of the Denver Broncos, never addressed us hmm. until Mike Shanahan spoke first. And if he had something to say, he mm -hmm. would say it then. And the Super Bowl, Skip, when I was in Baltimore, we won the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Brian Billick had us in the locker room. He says, before I say anything, I want to turn it over to the boss. Yeah. Art Modell spoke. Guys, you've done me proud. We know that was his crowning achievement. Mm -hmm. And that, Skip, he owned the team. He could have came and said, I'm speaking before anybody say anything. Mm -hmm. That's not what he does. See, Jason Garrett did not tell us who was going to be playing in the preseason, did he, Skip Bayless? Mm -mm. Who told us that? Jerry. Hmm. Well, Dak's not playing. Zeke's not playing. Tyron Smith's not playing. This guy's not playing. Most coaches, Jerry's had two coaches, Skip, that had power, that had authority. Yeah. He fired Jimmy Johnson and Bill Parcells quit. The Dave Campos, the Chan Gaylers, the uh, uh, Wade Phillips, the uh, Jason Garrett, Barry Switzer, they had nothing. Mm -hmm. Because where Jerry is right now, Skip Bayless, Jerry wants to get the credit because, you see, when he won those first two, who got all the credit, Skip, mm -hmm. Jimmy? And even when Barry won one when Jimmy was gone, they said you had did it with Jimmy's player. Yeah. So now everybody that's there is because Jerry wanted them to be there mm -hmm. and a coach that he has control over. So now if they were to win it, they're like everybody knows Jason Garrett ain't really doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Jerry, Jerry doing all this string mm -hmm. pulling. Mm -hmm. And so if he gets a Sean McVay, guess who's going to get the credit, Skip? He get one of these new coaches, go come in there, turn that thing around, they start winning. Uh-oh, Jerry don't get no credit. Mm. Even though he won three Super Bowls, even though he has a gold jacket, Skip, Jerry still wants the credit for the success the Dallas Cowboy has. That's what Jerry is averse to. Jerry's not averse to change because mm. he's changed a lot. <laughs> yeah, but not much lately. And I do agree with the point made in Gary Meyer's book that he's averse to change in this head coach yes. because you got there at, at the end of your yes. your take. Boy, he's really content with Jason Garrett as his head coach. And I got to say, this is, I feel like I'm Debbie Downer today, but as a Dallas Cowboy fan, Jason Garrett is making it harder and harder for me to root for my team uh -oh. because he is thoroughly uninspirational to me. You know, <laughs> I can just see his body language. I call him Coach Clap because all he does is stand on, no, no matter – Good, good play, bad play. He just over there robotically clapping. I, I don't know what he does. I think he's a great play caller, but that's not what he does. He's the head coach of this team. But he ain't calling the plays. Man. That's what I'm saying. He's not calling them. Scott Linehan is. But, again, that's the role he should be in. But Jerry wants him in this role. And the reason Jerry's averse to change is Jason has become family to him. Mm. He, 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 Jason is business as usual for him because – Everything the, the credit will go to Jerry, and plus Jason's you, you, with Jerry. You have to be a good hang. You got to be able to, to have beer and nachos with him on Friday after Friday afternoon practice, or anytime and, he wants. Anytime he wants is <laughs> correct. You got to be able to talk ball with Jerry. And for a while, I kept saying, "What is Jerry seeing Jason?" I knew Jason when he was a, the backup right. quarterback right. for the Cowboys. And I like he's he's a good guy to be around. He's fun to be around. But but Jerry likes people with some edge. Mm little profanity never heard here and there. And I thought, well, well, Jason's not profane. Then I watched that all or nothing documentary that they did on the Cowboys last year on Amazon. Yeah. And uh, Jason's, 
foul mouth, man. He was behind closed doors. I was like shocked. Well, okay, so he's got that edge going, so Jerry would like that. And he he doesn't mind giving Jerry total credit, and he would never step over the line and criticize Jerry or say, my hands are tied, right. or if only our owner had gone and gotten us a receiver or whatever. Mm -hmm. And this Jerry, once he got in your place, the Hall of Fame, it feels like he's resting on his laurels. Like he's just, I'm not sure, I hate to say this because it's tearing me apart, but I'm not even sure he prioritizes winning anymore. We're back to showmanship. Just put an entertaining product on the field and that's enough. And he's sort of fallen back into that group. You know how they say there are only like five or six owners who really want to win and yeah. they're willing to spend yeah. whatever it takes yeah, to absolutely. win. Well, I used to include Jerry in that group. Now I'm not so sure because in the off season, he finished, I don't know, down the line, second, third, fourth in the Sammy Watkins Derby. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, how, how do you not go get somebody? How do you not go close the deal on, on Earl Thomas? What was that all? And, again, I know Earl finally got hurt. Not right. on what I hope he'll be okay. But, but would he have gotten hurt if he had been in Dallas in August? Right. Who knows? Not uh, not. You just don't know. Jerry has a franchise that's worth $1.2 more than the next closest, which is the New England Patriots. Mm -hmm. yep. Skip, here's the thing. If Jerry were to fight Jason Garrett, he would be admitting, because Jay, Jerry's the coach. He's admitting I'm wrong. I've failed. Because think about it. He's given, he's given Jason Garrett latitude mm -hmm. that he never gave any other coach. Wade Phillips went to the playoffs. He starts bad, the next, and they fired him. Mm. Bill Parcells like, I'm done. Because you told me I was going to have control. I told you I didn't want this guy. You bring him anyway. Mm -hmm. I said I didn't want to draft that guy. You draft him anyway. So I'm out. You do it. Mm -hmm. Hey. You want to do it your way, go ahead and do it your way, but I don't want to be a part of it. Yep. And Jimmy, like you said, Jimmy did his thing, but Jerry couldn't. Jerry didn't like that. Okay, you might do your thing, but we in front of people, don't embarrass me. Shamed him. Don't Ridiculed him. Don't, hey, because at the end of the day. Softed his football knowledge. Yeah, because like your check, you see who name on, the, on to the right, that the right mm -hmm. line, that'd be me. Mm -hmm. I mean, excuse me, at the top. That, 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 the Dallas Cowboy mm -hmm. Football Club? That'd be me. That is correct. And you talking crazy to me, so he got rid of Jimmy. But Jimmy had total autonomy. Jimmy was the guy. And the, the well, best he, thing he seized total autonomy. He did. He wasn't given it. He Thank just you, took Jerry. it. Thank you, Jerry. Yeah. All I think about now. What, what they had in Dallas yeah. with Jimmy and that young roster. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jerry. Mm -hmm. We got two. Woo. Woo. I, I, I might be over here, Skip, having a different discussion. Mm -hmm. I might just have one ring. Because, boy, the Cowboys were loaded. But, again, I've defended Jerry on this because he did go get Charles Haley. That wasn't yeah. Jimmy. That was Jerry. Yeah. And he did go get Dion. So that was in that one Barry Switzer championship. Right. But I'm going to say it again. This is back in the early 90s, maybe 91. The great and late Frank before did a big profile on Jerry Jones for Vanity Fair. And in it, Jerry was quoted as saying, I could coach the, you know what, out mm -hmm. of this football team. And he still, I believe, believes that with all yeah. his heart and soul that today he could coach the, you know what, out of this football team. He also said the night that he fired Jimmy Johnson, 500 coaches could coach this team and win a championship Ooh. with it. And he hired the 501st coach yeah. on the list, Barry Switzer, to do that. And he did. Well, so. Jimmy said, you better start. Jimmy said, you better start auditioning 499 because mm -hmm. I'm up out of this piece. Oh, no. but, but here's the thing, Skip. And those were two huge findings, the Charles Haley mm -hmm. and the uh, uh, Dion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that, that team was built through the no, draft. No, it, it was. I got it. The, because Jimmy had come from the college level. He tried to recruit a lot of those guys. He they did. ended up being on the Cowboys roster. He did. And they were loaded. Yep. So at this stage and age of his life, I think Jerry just wants business as usual. He doesn't want to turn it upside down and start over with the Sean McVay because it would be hard, man. Or, or Sean Payton. Yeah, or can, Sean Payton. Can you imagine what the Cowboys would be with a Sean McVay or Sean Payton with their creativity and that offensive line? Oh, Skip Baylor. Okay, would there be some clashing going on behind sure. closed doors? Yep. No, there'll be a lot of clashing. Mm -hmm. Jerry doesn't want that. Mm -mm. Jason Garrett ain't going to clash nothing. He's going to sit there and make his three, three and a half million dollars clap. I mean, clap. Hey, Skip, I love you, Skip Baylor, but somebody paid me three and a half million to go clap. <laughs> I got to do shot, You're bro. Available? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause that's, really good clapper over here. That's all, that's all they got to do. All I see when I watch him now, it's the only thing <laughs> I look at. You've kind of ruined it for me. Yeah. Just see this. And yeah. him chewing gum. That's all I look for.
So oh, you throw that challenge flag. If you throw the flag, oh, you throw that challenge flag. Occasionally. Yeah. And get it wrong. And get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I can't tell if I like when you're happy with the Cowboys or mad well, at the Cowboys or frustrated well, by well, the I'm, Cowboys. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little desperate over here. Yeah. Well, How could desperate? I not? I know what you would be on Monday morning. We'll see. I still got Dak and Zeke. We'll see. We'll see. I still got Deshaun Watson. <laughs> okay, all right. Davian. Yeah. Still need to get that buzzer yeah. before Monday. Okay, will Tom Brady be out for revenge tomorrow mm -hmm. night against the Colts? Mm -hmm. Some beef there we'll discuss. Mm -hmm.